soon as I get off our conversation, my whole context is changed. Like, mm -hmm. and, and, and so for AI to try to predict like, or, or my mom messages me, suddenly she yeah. has COVID and I'm worried about her, or, you know, she needs the solar glasses that I sent her that haven't arrived yet, which is like for real, right. Yeah. Um, real, real thing that's happening now. Uh, where are my solar glasses? Uh, the eclipse is coming. Like AI can't possibly like guess all of that perfectly the reason why i think youtube works so well for me is because it doesn't try to totally guess it gives me a range of choices without interrupting me mm. and it allows me to pick from those range of choices like what's going to fit my mood the best and it doesn't try to overthink it and where i was getting into a big argument with matthew sweezy about this is especially i'm going to make the argument that especially for b2b purchasing decisions AI doesn't need to guess the real-time context. Now, for consumers, it's a little bit different because, you know, a lot of consumer purchases, you're doing it today, right? So the chance yeah. to influence you is right now. It's it's when, Thomas, it's when you're shopping for that backpack or it's when you're in the store. Yeah. So I think that's what's really interesting, and that's why people are salivating over this is they want to figure out how to influence you, Thomas, in real yeah. time, right? Yeah. It's about yeah. real time. And this is also where the chances that the artificial guess is better because take the example of a website here yeah? you have the click stream on this very website which usually gives an intention right because you have an intention right yeah, if it's just browsing yeah, but even that is recognizable so and if, if you are coming with an intention that leads to the conclusion leads the observer human or machine to the conclusion that there is a specific purchasing interest then the system the ai can in the moment very personalized because they have a an audience of one at that time serve me with that content and this is where the horsepower again comes into picture right because there's a lot of data <laughs> there we are a lot of data that needs to be crunched in very limited time so I think one I think one thing you and I can both agree on completely is that there's value either whether it's B2B or B2C, whatever it is, in in gathering those behavioral signals. Yes. Uh, you know, assuming that it's all above board and, and legitimate and and I and I know you're doing it, there's value in that. Whether or not you're gonna try to deliver it something to me in real time or mm -hmm at a later point, there's undeniable value in getting the current information on my behavior because it might be different than what you have for my past behavior yeah. for whatever reason.